Mr. Tudball. Mr. Tudball. What is it? I hear you for crying out loud. You didn't give me the new address to our office. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, by the way, there's, um, <clears throat> there's uh, something that I have to talk to you about. Uh, <clears throat> you see, uh, I have decided to cut the office staff in the half. You can't do that. I can too. But I can't run this office all by myself. I'll get here a little earlier, but... That's not what I mean. <clears throat> I have decided to let you go. But, Mr. Tudball, who will do all of your typing? Who will do all of your filing? Who will answer your phones? Who do you think it does it now? Me! <laughs> you mean you're firing me? That's uh, <clears throat> the very word that I was searching for. <laughs> Mr. Tideball? What? You're the best boss I ever had. Mrs. Wiggins. Hello? Uh, Mrs. Hello? Wh uh, don't press down hello, on that. Hello, hello. Don't press down on that little button when I'm talking to you, Mrs. Wiggins. Mrs. Wiggins doesn't work here anymore. <laughs> Mr. Huygens, uh, <clears throat> this is uh, going to come as a surprise, especially to me. <laughs> uh, I have uh, decided uh, to keep you on. Okay. <laughs> We'd better shake the leggy if we want to get over there to the new offices. <laughs> Talk about emotional upheaval. <laughs> well, uh, I think before we go, we had to look around the old office. This is the last time we'll set the foot in here. This place holds a lot of memories for you and me. Yes, sir. Bill. I almost feel a little tear just to, to well it up behind the old eyeballs. <laughs> I'll get the lights. <clears throat> What's wrong? I forgot my purse. Get your head to those wasn't attached to any these pencils. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Huggins. <laughs> you heard of who did? <laughs> 